My name is Molly Feely, and I am a consultant physician in the D uh, Division of General Internal Medicine here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. The title of my article is The Safety of Clopidogrel in Hip Fracture Surgery. It's appearing in an upcoming edition of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Plavix or clopidogrel was introduced in the late 1990s as a uh, platelet inhibitor. It's widely used now and in, in has a number of indications. It irreversibly inhibits the platelet for the life of the platelet. And so it takes a long time for Plavix to wear off once it's started. This creates a conundrum in hip fracture surgery because uh, what do you do when you have a patient who's on Plavix who comes in with a hip fracture? Uh, the surgeon is always trying to balance the risk of taking them to surgery and having increased bleeding versus delaying surgery and having a risk of increased thrombosis with the patient off of Plavix. Therefore, we did a retrospective uh, observational cohort study looking at patients who came into the hospital who are with a hip fracture who were on Plavix versus and compared them to a cohort of patients who with hip fracture who were not on Plavix. Our study was unique in that our um, patient population was a population-based study and we also used the Rochester Epidemiology Project so that we had complete follow-up of all of our patients that we that were en entered into the study. We also were fortunate in that many of the other studies out there that look at clopidogrel and hip fracture are complicated by surgical delay in the patients who are on Plavix at the time of their hip fracture. That's difficult because one doesn't know if the complications that patients have after surgery are due to the clopidogrel or are they due to the surgical delay. Our study was also pertinent in that our patients had no, no demonstrable surgical delay whether they were on Plavix or um, not on Plavix at the time of their surgery. We looked at several outcomes in these patients. We looked at bleeding outcomes in several different ways. We also looked at thrombotic complications such as heart attack, stroke, or limb ischemia after surgery. And we also looked at overall mortality between the clopidogrel group and the non-clopidogrel group. Um, our study showed no difference in any of the bleeding outcomes between the clopidogrel group and the non-clopidogrel group. And our study showed no difference in thrombotic complications between the two groups and there was no difference in mortality between the two groups. We concluded that our study showed no increase in perioperative complications in patients on clopidogrel at the time of their hip fracture who were taken to surgery promptly. So this adds considerably to, the, to a growing body of literature that suggests that it's safe to operate on patients on clopidogrel promptly. However, our study size was too small to make definitive conclusions that would change practice today. Um, it would be very nice to have a much larger study to look at uh, outcomes. It would be great to have a double-blind placebo-controlled prospective randomized controlled trial. Um, however, I think we're close to having enough studies and out there to potentially do a meta-analysis. In, con in conclusion, our study showed that there was no increase in perioperative complications in patients who were take, patients on clopidogrel who were taken for their uh, hip fracture surgery promptly versus those who were not on clopidogrel. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.